Hi there, I'm Max. If you're new here, first of all, welcome to my channel. What I'm doing here is taking y'all on the journey of developing the most realistic Minecraft nuke and explosives mod of all time. And in this update I have some pretty awesome stuff to show you, so without any further ado, let's dive right in. As you can see, I spent the last couple of weeks implementing my own particle engine. The reason for this being twofold. Reason number one has been performance, because one of the most frequent comments I've gotten over the last couple of months have been people who are concerned about whether their PC can even run the mod, and to be honest, truthfully so, because even on my machine, and I'm running a 13th Gen i9 and an RTX 4080, I was just getting barely 20 to 30 FPS if there's like two or three conventional explosives going off at the same time. And that means that anybody running a mid-range or lower-end machine wasn't really able to run the mod at all. And that's not what I want to do. So I went to great lengths to implement my own particle engine. And as you can see, the results are astonishing, to be honest. On screen right now are 250,000 particles and I'm still getting around 30 FPS. But that's not the only reason I decided to implement my own particle engine, because reason number two is gonna be distant horizons. Because with my new engine I'll be able to render particles that are outside of the standard vanilla render distance and even in distant horizons chunks, although that still requires some more work to be done. But with this being finished, I already got the biggest hurdle out of the way. The second thing I've been working on over the last couple of months has been terrain deformation. What this means, and I'm probably gonna put up a video of what I'm talking about on screen right now, is that I want to do realistic underground nuclear detonations. So as you can see right now, the ground slowly starts to rise up and bulge out before it erupts and all the smoke comes out. And I want to do the same in Minecraft. So as a tech demo, to show that it's working, I implemented my own version of the old Minecraft acid shader effect. From here on out it should be comparatively easy to implement the rest of the underground explosion effects so when the nuke goes off it starts to push up the ground above it. So yeah, that's basically it for this week. To close this off I'm gonna give you some idea of what's gonna happen on this channel in the near future, which is gonna be a lot more particle magic. For example, right now the nuclear explosions have this really cool mushroom cloud effect. However, at some point the animation just stops, which isn't good. But now that our particle budget is a lot bigger, the mushroom cloud just can keep rising up and up and up into the atmosphere and start to spread out and then become this really really big black cloud that's gonna get carried away by the wind and actually rain down as fallout. Which brings me to my next point. I want to add really realistic radiation as well, and once I have the underground nuke detonations, the fallout and the radiation done, I'm pretty close to releasing the first alpha version of the mod. So if you want to stay up to date on how development is coming along and also at some point when the release date is gonna be, you may want to consider subscribing to my channel. That's all for today, so until next time, take care and goodbye.